no course on um, learning how to work well with others would be complete without discussing some typical types of conflict that show up in the workplace. See, much like conflict in our personal lives, conflict in the workplace can be very difficult to avoid. In fact, you can't. It's going to happen. Disputes among coworkers are often resolved among the parties themselves without a hitch. However, it can sometimes be necessary to contact HR department or upper management to solve the problem if the dispute cannot be settled between the parties. Part of handling conflict effectively is knowing what type of workplace conflict you're dealing with when the problem arises. Let's look at leadership. A change of leadership, such as a new supervisor or managerial staff, can cause great conflict among employees. A sudden change in leadership can take some time getting used to and may be stressful for you and your fellow co-workers in the process. Even though you really didn't like your boss and wish he'd leave, when he does leave, it's stressful. What are you going to get now? Drastic changes to leadership on the job takes people out of their comfort zone as they try to adjust to, a, to new rules and techniques, all while maintaining their workload. Now, while it may seem daunting at first, much of this conflict can be avoided by providing a clear summary of any changes being made to rules in the workplace. Conflicts of character is a little more difficult. Personality conflicts are some of the most common issues among coworkers. It can be difficult to pick up on social cues you're not accustomed to or understand mannerisms that differ from your own and the people you are regularly in contact with. It's best to try not to take things so personally to avoid unnecessary confrontation. I guess the best advice there is just learn to read the room. See, if you can't think of a reason why your colleague is acting negatively toward you, it, you may have picked up on something that wasn't there. It's very unlikely that your coworker arbitrarily decided to be rude to you. <laughs> it happens, but it's very unlikely. Think about this. It's easier to change yourself than to change others. Now, I don't mean you have to become someone new. Just adjust. See, typically, change for the better is not easy for anyone to make. You can't just snap your finger and wave a magic wand and expect said changes to occur overnight. But think of how great it would be if it were actually possible to accomplish that task. Now, keep this in mind. While it is possible to change yourself with some effort, sometimes more than you're willing to put into it, it's extremely difficult to change others. More to the point, when you take time to think about it, do you really have that right to try to change someone else? Now, it's hard to change a situation when you don't have a back history and all of the facts. The same thing is true with a person. Until you've actually walked in someone's shoes, you don't know why that person acts the way they do. You may have a general idea, but generalities just aren't enough. Whether you're at work or in another location, when the mood strikes you to want to change someone, try this instead. Think about things you can do to improve upon the issue. Coming right out and telling someone that you think they need to change is a sure way to initiate bad feelings between the two of you. Now, honestly, how would you feel if the tables were turned? and someone was telling you that you need to alter the way you do things. A good example of this relates to time management. Now, you notice one of your coworkers is finding it difficult to stay on schedule in regards to completing a project. Instead of going to your manager with a complaint, why not ask the boss if there's some way you can help the individual stay on track? You might even learn something new in the process. Just keep an open mind. If someone wants to change and asks for your help, now that's a completely different story. Doing all you can do to assist them will help to ensure the transformation they hope to achieve. Now, sometimes 
all the individual needs is a push in the right direction. Look at it this way. They'd probably do the same for you if you ask them. Now, this is a little tricky, but we need to talk about it. What do you call in the boss? Many interpersonal conflicts at work can be solved without getting management involved. Your coworkers are adults, and you should be able to work out a reasonable outcome to any dispute you may have. While it's a good idea to keep your boss informed on what's going on between you and your coworkers, going to them with every issue may lead your fellow employees to believe that you aren't willing to listen to their side of the story. However, if neither you want to budge on the issue, it may be a good idea to get a supervisor or HR representative to mediate the conflict for you. Set up a time when you can all meet to work out the issue. See, with a neutral party involved to hear both sides of the story, they be, may be more inclined to curb whatever behavior was causing the problem. <laughs> or you may be more willing also. Now, in closing, I've got some quotes. I'd just like for you to keep these in mind. Better yet, write each of them on a post-it note and stick them around your workstation. Remember, motivation is contagious. Why not help to spread around and make your work environment a friendlier and more productive place? Your coworkers will undoubtedly thank you for it. And here they are. Always do your best. Don't stop just because someone doesn't give you credit. Now, it almost sounds childish, but why did Mary Wilson say that? It's because it's true. Work joyfully and peacefully, knowing that right thoughts and right efforts will inevitably bring about right results. Sometimes it takes a little time, but inevitably that happens. And then Oscar Wilde, the best way to appreciate your job is to imagine yourself without one. I love that. A number of years ago, employees would come into my office. I got a little flippant, I guess, but they would come into my office complaining about a coworker, complaining about the task I'd given them to do, complaining about the work hours, whatever. And my response was always the same. I agree with you, but isn't it great to be employed? <laughs>